Hey Taurus, it's Dana, your Gypsy Psychic. What's up? How are you? How's everybody doing? I'm doing well. I cannot complain. We're going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. I have much more time with this video than I did with the last video. And, uh, you know, figured I'd get myself all gussied up to go on to YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, if y'all just if you knew me personally, you would know how funny that is because um, I uh, run around with no makeup on most of the time. I mean, I do do my eyes, but like the lipstick and shit, no, not so much, not so much. And um, I usually throw on a baseball hat because I have um, helmet hair from riding my horse, so I run around pretty much bare naked with a baseball hat on most of the time. And uh, for me to um, come on to YouTube, right? I can't very well show up to 50,000 people on YouTube looking like a scrub. So anywho, I gussied myself up a little bit for y'all today. I did. I don't even have a t-shirt on. <laughs> King of Swords trying to show itself. Don't even have a t-shirt on Taurus, but I do have a bra, so that helps. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's funny. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus, okay? All right. Okay. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this may or may not resonate with you. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Take it for a grain of salt, right? The only way to know your own story is to have your own cards, right? That's just the bottom line. You can mind fuck yourself for days, weeks, months, and years watching general tarot card readings on YouTube, but it's never going to give you the finite detailed information of your particular situation to give you the guidance and the wisdom to make um, any kind of decisions in your life. So don't ever base any decisions off of my general tarot card readings or anybody else's, all right? The only reason I really even do this is to show you the amazing, amazing power of the tarot to encourage you to get your own cards read so you stop wasting your precious, precious time on YouTube. God's honest truth. That's why I do this. God's honest truth. That's why I don't do all 12 zodiac signs. And, you know, I do Pisces, but for the most part, I do Taurus um, because Tauruses are control freaks. <laughs> and if anybody's going to be trolling YouTube for for insight and information to give them some leverage in a situation, it's going to be the Taurus or the Scorpio. It's going to be the Taurus, right? So um, I just happen to be Taurus. So... Taurus is my focus, right? Right? All right. Cards are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify them, and I'll sew together a story. If that clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward that section of the video, and we will pick up right where we leave off. So let's do this. I'm excited about it. Y'all come on in, snuggle up, get you a blanket, get you a pillow. Put your feet up, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on a big screen if you want to. Put the earbuds in, take a lunch break, whatever it is you, whatever it is that uh, rolls for you, Taurus, you do it, okay? I'm a channeler, so give me just a second to channel here, okay? Follow along with me. Feel it, right? Feel it. Feel it. Follow along with me. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And Spirit, Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the collective of Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus have to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good, Spirit? What is it that whomever needs to know, Spirit? What is it that whomever needs to know? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight off the top. Please. Give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the words to explain. All right, let's.
let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the two of swords. Okay, two of swords. All right. Eight of cups, emotional abandonment, just disgust, okay? Emotional disgust right there. To the five of swords, uh, getting screwed over somehow, some way, a mindset. The four of wands, peace and contentment. The sun, happiness, success and vitality. And the prince of cups in reverse. The four of swords in reverse. The ace of wands. The seven of swords in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse. The ten of cups. The high priestess in reverse. The empress. The three of pentacles. The world. The Two of Wands, fantastic. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. And the Star to the Magician to the Ace of Pentacles. Fantastic. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's this about, Taurus? What's it about? What's it about? All you newbies out there are like, oh my God, look at all those reversals. <laughs> you just don't even know. You just don't even know. Buckle up. Couple of things you need to know about me before we get started. Ah, I crack myself up. Couple of things you need to know about me before we get started. All right. I uh, have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear and I will most definitely smoke my vape on camera. If any of that bothers you, Fair warning, right now, the neighborhood's too rough. You probably need to move up. Okay? All right, let's get into it. Let's see what, let's see what uh, Spirit has to say for Taurus. So the Eight of Cups, emotional abandonment. It's just like done, right? Just like done. Emotional abandonment. Three of Swords in reverse to the Page of Cups. So forgiveness, understanding, the Page of Cups, maybe an apology or some kind of niceness to the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change. Okay. To the Five of Swords, kind of a, a getting screwed over, win at all costs mentality. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords, would you please? That. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. All right. All right. The Four of Wands. The Sun understood anything. Oh, the Lovers. Look at that. Wow. Uh, to the Prince of Cups, right? Eight of Swords. Four of Swords in reverse. Uh, lack of success. Restless. Restless, a lack of success. Yeah. Worn out. Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning right around the corner. Tell me about this new beginning, please. Tell me about this new beginning. Huh. Maybe don't even see it coming. The Empress in reverse. These go to the Seven of Swords in reverse for sure. So tell me about this Ace of Wands, please. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. The world in judgment. Holy schmoly. Seven of cups. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. Eight of cups in reverse. This is talking about being just emotionally checked out, emotionally checked out of a situation. Three of swords. It says forgiveness, understanding, acceptance. Page of cups is about emotional creation. And the eight of wands talks about movement, action, and change. Okay. So somewhere in your life, you're in a state of emotional disgust. Spirit says with the three of wands in reverse and the page of cups, that there is going to be healing in this particular situation. Okay. So whatever it is, is making you emotionally disgusted at the moment. There is going to be healing to this situation. And the eight of wands comes on top of it and says, don't fear. Um, it's going to change. This situation for you is going to change. Five of swords. In this situation, you feel like you're getting screwed over somehow, some way. 
page of pentacles in reverse and you can't fully manifest somehow. Okay. You're restricted somehow by fully manifesting a sense of well being with the page of pentacles, right? In reverse. And, um, you feel like you're getting screwed over somehow, some way. And you're emotionally disgusted, but the cards say, hold on. Everything is going to change. Okay. Four of wands to the sun. Four of Wands to the Sun is about stability, um, long-term commitments. It is the 1111 card, right? It is about peace, contentment, safety, and stability in your life, okay? All four elements. To the Sun, happiness, success, and vitality. That's what's in your future. That's what this Eight of Wands, that's the change that this Eight of Wands is bringing. And that is the, the emotional growth of some sort with the Page of Cups. Okay. So you feel like you're getting screwed over. You can't manifest or you don't want to manifest or someone screwed you over in the past and you don't want to manifest with them. And the, that's them with the apology, whatever. It's a general reading, right? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about to the four of wands. It's going to change though. It's going to change. There's going to be stability, peace, happiness, destiny, uh, success, illumination to the lovers. Um, either in this the relationship, either in this relationship that you're having conflict with, um, there's going to be change. The lovers also talks about your choices. Um, it also talks about significant relationships around you. And the Ace of Swords talks about seeing the clarity of a situation. Okay. So you need to see the clarity of this situation that you're in. You are in this situation for a reason. You're all disgruntled about it. Okay. But there is purpose to what's happening in your life right now, even though you're emotionally disgusted with the eight of cups. Okay. In revert in the upright, the Prince of Cups in reverse to the Eight of Swords, all tied up in your head. Prince of Cups in reverse is about um, not having an emotional exchange, not wanting an emotional exchange. Sometimes it's about jealousy. Maybe you're all caught up in your head with jealousy and that's why you're emotionally disgusted and you feel like you're getting screwed over. But this situation is all going to change. You're not seeing something exactly the way that it needs to be seen because you are paralyzed overthinking something in your own mind with the eight of swords. Okay. The, and it has to do with negative emotions. The Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse talks about a lack of success, a lack of reward. It talks about um, a lack of progress, being mentally restless about a lack of progress. Obviously. The Ace of Wands. This is, it's, it's all going to change. It's all, all, all going to change for you. Everything is going to change. There is an inspired passionate, motivated, new beginning right in front of you. The world. There is a brand new cycle right around the corner, right around the corner. Don't give up on this situation just yet. To judgment. But there needs to be a conscious cognitive decision within you to participate in this situation, because if you walk away from this situation, you're not going to get to experience this situation. Okay. And this situation is for your best and highest good. The tarot, the tarot, the spirit, nature, source, whatever your thing is, right? It is all in your best and highest good. They're always trying to point you in the direction of your best and highest good. All right. So they're saying, that there is a brand new cycle directly around the corner for you. It is an inspired new beginning in your life. You are in a situation that you are rather disgusted and pissed off about, right? But Spirit says, hold on just a second because everything is about to change. Judgment. But you have to draw some kind of line in the sand in order to participate. Seven of Swords in reverse. What is that? It is letting go of some kind of futile mentality. Three of Wands in reverse. 
What is the futile mentality that this situation is an obstacle to your long-term goal? Because remember, you're all pissed off because you can't manifest. Maybe you're paying for something with someone. Maybe uh, you have a, a roommate or a spouse or someone that can't make their bills and you are having to dish out for that just to keep things afloat and you're pissed off about it. Um, perhaps there is... Um, too much commotion in your environment and you can't focus properly and you're all pissed off about that. Perhaps um, there is someone trying to connect with you that you have a bad taste in your mouth about and you just don't want to put forth any kind of effort. Spirit says, don't be all buggered about it, right? engage in the situation because everything here is about to change for you. Okay. The Empress in reverse. Again, they can't co-create with you if your free will doesn't desire co-creation. Okay. Your free will up here is disgruntled. Your free will up here is wrapped up overthinking something in your mind. Your free will over here in the Eight of Cups is emotionally disgusted. Your free will in the Four of Swords in reverse is obsessing about some kind of lack of progress. And Spirit says, again, just like they did up here, all of this is about to change. A brand new phase cycle chapter of your life is about to take root, but you have to make a conscious cognitive decision. You have to break free from some kind of futile mindset, perhaps a futile mindset that you don't see as a futile mindset with the three of wands in reverse, but definitely you're like, this is obstacles to my long-term goals. This is fucking things up for me. I don't want to have anything to do with this. The Empress in reverse also represents codependency, right? Which could go back to you floating the boat financially somehow and feeling um, overwhelmed or feeling like uh, you just resentful about resentful about the whole situation. The Empress in reverse is most importantly about co-creation, though. It's a creative block when it's in reverse. When she's in the upright, she co-creates with the universe, right? When she's in the reverse, she does not co-create with the universe. And what they're saying is they need you to get a hold of this um, this, this, this angry, resentful, downtrodden mentality so they can co-create with you and bring you this brand new beginning and help you close out a cycle of your life and move into a place of happiness, success, stability, significant relationships, perhaps healing this relationship or forging some kind of a new relationship. But they need you to get on board, Taurus. They need you to get on board. Okay. Seven of cups in reverse. Um, you not being on board is an emotional diversionary tactic. Diversionary tactic is what the seven of cups in reverse is about here, right? To the nine of swords, what's the diversionary, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the thing here is the nine of swords, right? All tied up in your head with anxiety and despair about a situation. To the eight of swords, up there, right? So you got the Eight of Swords going on, the Nine of Swords going on, the Four of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups. And you're just like, ugh. And Spirit's like, no, this is going to turn out great. This is going to turn out awesome. You have to co-create with the universe. You have to make a decision that you're going to have a different attitude about this situation to justice in reverse. Because your what is an injustice? Well, the diversion, because you're consumed with anxiety and despair about a situation. That's the injustice in your life. That's a lack of accountability for your journey. Spirit saying your journey, it's all going to change. Embrace it, accept it, learn from it. It doesn't have to be terrible, even though it might feel terrible right now. Okay. Ten of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. What's on its way to you? A complete and total 
healing of this situation or a complete and total brand new relationship that is going to be the be all to end all, but you have to go through your certain situations and circumstances right now to be able to get there. The high priestess in reverse swear what this card is saying to me is choke it down. It is. It's what the card is saying to me. Maybe, um, maybe you're going through some kind of stepkid situation. I was a stepkid. Be nice to them. Maybe you're going through some kind of stepkid situation where, where um, it's just on your nerves. The whole situation is just on your nerves. There's going to be a breakthrough and things are going to change. Like I said, perhaps you're living with people and it is um, um, disturbing your peace. That's all going to change. Perhaps there is a message coming in from someone um, from your past that is going to change the status of a situation. Could be a child, could be an ex-lover, it could be um, an old friend, an old employer. But right now you're feeling all grouchy about things and nothing's worse than a grouchy Taurus, okay? Right now you're feeling all, except maybe a grouchy Cancer. Eh. Um, you're feeling all downtrodden about things, right? And Spirit's trying to tell you it's going to change, it's going to change, it's going to change. High Priestess in reverse, choke it down. Just choke it down to the nine of wands in reverse. Um, it's about being worn out. Okay. Choke down your, your, your attitude here. The wheel in reverse. The wheel in reverse is about, um, a blockage. Okay. What's the blockage? Well, uh, again, it's the bad attitude. That's the blockage. Okay. The bad attitude is the blockage. Spirit says, choke down the bad attitude. Wheel of fortune in reverse. It's blocking your blessing. It's blocking the turn of events. It's blocking everything to the king of wands. There is success on its way to you. Somehow, some way, there is success on its way to you. To the empress. Oh, did you hear my cat sneeze? Aww. The empress. This is, uh, right, you were the Empress in reverse right here. It's the card of Taurus, right? I mean, it's the card of Libra as well, but it's the card of Taurus because we're talking about Taurus, okay? So in the reverse, you can't co-create with the universe, right? In the upright, that's what it's saying. It's saying, get your, get your, get your shit together, right? Get your manifestation on point. Lesson number one, major arcana, manifestation, where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Get your mind out of the eight of swords and the nine of swords and the four of swords in reverse and the eight of cups and get your eyes on the prize and know that you must go through this to get to that. Okay. Don't give up. Lesson number two is the high priestess, right? Your intuition is always, always, always going to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Follow your intuition. It is your higher power calibrating your compass to your true north. Okay. Lesson three, the empress, card number three, right? She is the third highest entity in all of the tarot because she internalizes lesson one and two. She manifests intentionally and she follows her intuition. And if her manifestation doesn't match her intuition, she changes her manifestation. Okay. So that's you standing in your power. Knight of Wands, inspired action to the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever it is that is on the other side of this disgruntledness right here is well worth going through this disgruntledness. It is well, well worth it. No matter what's going on in your life, get your cards right if you really want to know. Me, someone else, I don't care. But if you really want to know what's going on here, you have to have your own cards read. This is so hard for me because I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm like channeling like random and it's so hard to help you with this reading because I don't know the details of your situation, right? Nevertheless, this is worth it. It's going to pay off big time, okay? The Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration to the King of Swords in reverse. Again, pissed off. You are pissed off about some kind of teamwork and collaboration that's supposed to be one way but isn't 
right? Maybe, again, your stepkids, maybe your own kids, right? Show up at your house and just trash the place. And they just eat all your food and wash all their clothes and use all your stuff. And then they bounce out again and you don't see them again till next weekend, right? Maybe it's on your nerves. Maybe you feel like you're getting taken advantage of, okay? Maybe it is, um, it could be so many things, y'all. It could be so many things, but it's it's not going the way that it's supposed to go for you, okay? And the King of Swords in reverse represents your anger about it. Angry, pissed off about this whole situation, pissed off about what's happening, but it's fixing to change. It's going to be over somehow, some way in just a short period of time. And if you can get through this, choking down the bad attitude, putting a smile on your face and being nice about the situation, understanding that there is something for you to learn about yourself, maybe self-control, okay? Something for you to learn about yourself. Everything on the other side of this is going to be freaking awesome the world. In the upright, taking you this direction. A massive, massive change. Massive change. The end of one whole cycle of your life and the beginning of another whole cycle of your life, which hopefully you will compound the lessons that you've learned from your current cycle instead of repeating them over and over and over and over again, right? Hopefully you will compound them and create a better, stronger future for yourself. But this cycle's over, and there is an extremely successful future ahead of you. Two of Wands, the future. An extremely successful future. You are at the crossroads right now. This conflict that you're feeling in this situation is the crossroads. And as soon as, as soon as the storm passes, you will be able to take your first step forward into an amazing, beautiful, beautiful new beginning in your life to the high priestess. This high priestess is talking about spirit. Uh, the high priestess is source incarnate in the cards, okay? Just like the devil is um, the flesh incarnate in the cards, okay? The high priestess is saying, let it be. This is so. This is, this is, this is the way that it needs to be right now. Three of swords in reverse. This will pass. There will be forgiveness, understanding, acceptance, accept the situation, be understanding of the situation, and perhaps forgive some bad behaviors. Um, for the moment, because maybe you're moving. Maybe you're like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care if they come and do whatever they want to do. I'm getting the hell out of here and I ain't giving them my new address. <laughs> to the Hierophant in reverse. Cutting loose of ties, commitments, and obligations. This situation is going to go by the wayside. The star. And as soon as it does, you're going to step into your path and your purpose. To the alchemist and manifest the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new, exciting sense of well-being. You are going to be just fine, Taurus. You're going to be just fine. Put your head down, buckle down, right? Buckle down, put your head down, push through this, be nice, be polite, be kind, and be gentle. Understand that this too is a lesson for you, just like every single experience in your life. This also is a lesson. Learn what you need to learn about yourself. And on the other side of this, not very far away at all, on the other side of this is brand new renewal. Renewal, success, stability, justice, Money, possibly, career, definitely just so much success. Your path, your purpose, manifest it. Manifest it, manifest it, manifest it, Taurus. It is right there for you to take. Manifest it. Let's do a numerology guidance card. I love these things. Spirit, tell me about this. Tell me, please. Healing. 66. Okay, one more. What else? One more. One more, please. And adventure. Domestic harmony and adventure. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's read them, Taurus. We got three. 
Let's do it. Healing, 66. Okay. <clears throat> Can you all see that? All right. This card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and being of service to others. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts and the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you feel drawn to Reiki, kinesiology, physical therapy, homeopathy, acupuncture, nursing, counseling, or life coaching. Whichever path you choose, it's time to set the wheels in motion. This card may also indicate a need to receive body work or healing, such as Reiki, kinesiology, acupuncture, cognitive behavioral therapy, or herbal medicine to help shift any stagnant or toxic energy. Your energy field, your aura, absorbs and stores energy from other people, electrical equipment, every illness and trauma in your surroundings, and your own negative thoughts and emotions. Therefore, it's important to clear your aura regularly to alleviate, to elevate your health and well-being and your overall quality of life. You're an energetic being with an with a natural ability to heal. So when you focus on being of service, the universe will guide you to where you're needed most. Set the intention to heal or be healed, and you will be shown the next logical step to take. So if this is talking about an entrepreneurial pursuit, perhaps, in some of the healing arts, and you are just in a stuck, stagnant position right now, push through because the new beginning is right around the corner. If this is talking about some kind of a relationship for you, then this is a, this is, um, you need to protect your energy, right? Because Taurus is all pissed off in this reading. You need to protect your energy. Sage the house when no one's home, smudge the doors, right? Maybe do some prayer. I, I chant when I sage my house, right? So whatever it is for you, you need to ground yourself, suck it up and push through. Okay. Domestic harmony 46, which goes right along with everything. Does it not? This card indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, family member, or ex-partner, house guest, or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to, commu to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell or making necessary improvements to turn it into the perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of life, cycles that are leading you toward domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships and your home, you will improve your quality of life. There you go. And then we got adventure with 55. You see how these are going hand in hand here? It's so interesting to me, right? So this situation, guard yourself. Um, your domestic harmony is going to be restored. And now we have all of this great new path and purpose and happiness and success and money and all of the good stuff in front of you in the card adventure. 55, 10. This card indicates a need to see your life as an adventure. No one knows what will happen tomorrow, so why not make the most of today? By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to step out of the rut of your everyday life to experience exciting new things. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just a couple of minor adjustments can add a little adventure and zing. This is a time to be impulsive and daring, inquisitive. You might want to rearrange your furniture or experiment with new styles of clothes. Perhaps you could eat at a different location or a different type of food, take up a new hobby, or go on an overseas voyage. Sometimes a new version of something familiar is enough to shake things up. Even a random act of kindness can be an adventure in itself. 
Adventure stimulates the life force and enhances your connection to source. So open yourself up to the unknown, revitalize your soul, and broaden your horizons. There you go, Taurus. You got good things going on. You just need to push through. You just need to push through this little sticky spot and you're going to be just fine. Namaste.